It's been wonderful to have a miracle happen on the clean energy jobs bill. That will go into... Is that cap and ground? Cap and trade? <laughs> I mean, cap and trade, is that what that would is? Peter. You would bring that up. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it would have been uh, nice to make, it would have been great to make a breakthrough on that. We were not optimistic we could, but I, I always love to see a, a legislative miracle, and that would have been my number one uh, legislative miracle. Will you prioritize that in the... No, I just did, did you yeah. see oh. the pre did you yes. did, 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 <laughs> did you yes. do it not, you, did you see the press release that I, did you see it yesterday that we, the speaker and I are forming a joint committee with yes. co-chairing mm -hmm. and I told everybody we're going to do this in 19 or don't bother coming don't bother coming the last time I said that was on transportation so if you don't want to mm -hmm. deal with the carbon and invest issues and get it done don't come to the 19 sessions so I don't know how Jenny you can say it another way but that's how I've said it and, and I think a lot of uh, good conversations were had, and I know Senator Dembro worked really hard to continue moving the discussion forward. So we made ground on it, but it would have been nice to get over the finish line. You asked me the question yet, because I want to see you very profound. Ask me the question. <laughs> well, my first question was disappointments. So what was my biggest disappointment, I think, was the question. Well, it, and this is for Connor, <coughs> because of his article. If you really want to know the biggest disappointment, is that we didn't do every single major bill on a bipartisan basis. I love it when we can get a 29 to nothing vote on clean air, we can get a 30 to nothing vote on pay, uh, pay equity. I love that when you can do it. That is as magnificent as it gets. And so I have to tell you, when I look out on revenue issues, some of them did it, and it's all Democrats voting, all Republicans going, that breaks my heart. Even though I might be on the winning side, it bothers me. So if you want to know the truth, I wish the revenue votes could have been bipartisan and not be so, not which led to, uh, by the way, Brian Bochrist's remarks. So that that is my biggest hurt is that there was votes on revenue when we were disconnecting everything. We couldn't have had a bipartisan vote, and and so we did it in clean air, which was all you know. We did it on some other things. So that's that's what my disappointment is. We failed there. You're right, Connor. We weren't we weren't getting it done that day. So that, that's that's why I feel bad.